Moses said after the game he didn't think it was a 170 pitch, thought that they probably conceded overs. What did you make of it with the halfway mark? I thought we had a really, really good score. Uh, I think the wicket might have changed a little bit with the Jew. I think it might have skid on a little bit more when we were bowling. But having said that, I thought it was a, a good score that we posted. Do you think it was a pretty nerveless, nerveless sort of way that he and that Moses and Lum sort of went out about? Like the halfway mark, you looked well on top, but the wicket's in hand for a crucial? Yeah, I think they had one or two big overs and that sort of set the momentum back in their favour. And um, yeah, Lum played out of his skin and then set the game up for him well and truly. He's put you guys away a couple of times now. Is he pretty tough to bowl at? Yeah, he is. Uh, he's quite uh, unconventional, hits the ball in sort of awkward spots. And um, yeah, we've got to find a way to uh, get past him next time, hopefully. One of those games where you wish you had more overs have another crack at him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's interesting. But um, uh, look, we, uh, we had enough runs on the board tonight. And yeah, um, yeah, unfortunately, we just didn't get over the line. One of the big scorers. A lot more the experienced blokes. Is that what we saw tonight? The experienced telling? Um, With a bat at least? Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. You saw Tommy Beaton come in and, um, and whack a few, so I just think it was, um, yeah, just once the bowlers got hit off their length, it sort of uh, made it a little bit e easier for um, the batsmen to score, and, and we did that to them a little bit, and um, they, they did that to us quite well. So. Plus, his spin bowling seems to work pretty well here. I know you've got a good record, but. Was it a bit sort of different tonight? Like, you know, they did obviously didn't bowl sock, you played Cam instead of Horry? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not sure about speaking for them, but, um, but I think sort of in the second innings tonight, like I said, it probably skid on a little bit and Doe probably wasn't as effective as we've seen these spinners um, in the past. Uh, it was quite chewy out there, so whether that played into um, the decision making to play um, only one spinner, I I'm not sure. And are you glad that you know, after you, ha you had sort of like the love of Tommy dropping that chance that you actually dragged something out of it and at least made him earn it? Last, you know, the second last over? Yeah, I mean, it was always going to be tough from there. You never know if you had to even just knock that down for one. We might have been a sniff, but those things happen. So. Bowled a couple of young bowlers so far. I've Guy on Saturday night and Camps tonight. Um, is that going to be a, a, a battle this season, trying to you know, feel, feel, feel that attack? It is a young sort of young, a young setup. Yeah, I mean, we've, you've seen guys come in the, in the big bash and make a name for themselves, so it is quite hard. It's a baptism of fire. You don't get yeah. time to settle in in the big bash, but I'm sure they'll learn from it. And um, yeah, us older guys have got to try and pick up the slack and then help them through it. What have you liked about, obviously, Guy Walker, everyone speaks highly of. We saw camps tonight. What, what do you like about the young, the young boys? Uh, their energy for one, and they bowl really good pace, so I wish I had that pace. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, they've got their whole career ahead of them. They'll, it, they'll learn and... Um, yeah, sometimes it's not all about pace, it's a, it's a change of pace, but I'm sure they'll add those skills to under their belt. So, Based on what you've seen so far, I guess all around the comp, do you think guys are getting really even better at chasing than they were? Something I haven't thought about, actually. Um, I'm not sure of the stats out here, but uh, we, we saw a stat sort of the... Um, Average uh, score batting first was 150. We got 170 tonight and they chased it down, so... Um, yeah, I'm not sure, to be honest. Christmas coming at a good time, we we'll break and refresh and go again. Yeah, seven days off now, so we'll have a couple of days away. Most guys will go back to their families and I'm um, ready to attack it. Yeah, I think you said the other night that Chris Gale actually been teaching the bowlers a fair bit more than the batsmen in terms of the mindset of, of, um, of what he's thinking when he faces you guys. Have, yeah. have you learned anything of Chris so far? Oh, he hasn't spoken to me, so I don't know whether that's a good thing or might be doing all the right things. So, yeah, I'll have to have a chat to him. And, um, yeah, I know he's got, you know, wealth of info on a lot of guys across the Big Bash and, and especially the international guys. So you always like to tap into, tap into that experience.